Would you believe that one company is years past delivering life-saving medical supplies in Africa and now onto commercial goods in the United States that flies once around Earth every six hours and has flown more than 95 million miles autonomously? Zipline is that company, and every part of their journey is as interesting as it is innovative. Before we get to Zipline, let's contextualize drone delivery with some just huge numbers and a couple really interesting companies also in the space. What feels faster than the adoption of ride sharing, taking Ubers, taking Lyfts, has been the adoption of food delivery, and now basically the delivery of any small good. 643 million orders took place on DoorDash in quarter three of 2024. Instacart counted 72.9 million orders in that same quarter. Uber Eats made 3.7 billion in revenue of quarter four in 2024. And GoPuff has raised something on the order of 3 billion in private funding. With hundreds of millions, if not billions of orders taking place, this is now a way of life. Now let's look back to two really critical moments. In 2005, Amazon launches Prime, a membership program offering two day express shipping and no minimum purchase requirement. In 2006, DJI launches Phantom, putting the power of drones in the hands of consumers. Seven years later, it was no surprise that Bezos would go on to announce Amazon Prime Air. Oh my God, this, this is? These are octocopters. Yeah. These are uh, effectively drones, but there's no reason that they can't be used as delivery vehicles. A program aimed at delivering packages using drones, bringing the concept of drone delivery into the mainstream. Now, Amazon Prime Air formally launched in 2022 and has completed thousands of deliveries since. I opened this video with a scene from Ready Player One. Set to the backdrop of Columbus in 2045, a drone comes in delivering Pizza Hut. It turns out this actually happened before, but it was KFC and it was in Shenzhen, not Columbus. In China, a lot of things are happening. DJI drones are delivering 40 kilogram solar panels to remote mountains. Meituan is making consumer drone deliveries. In fact, to so much success that they now are working in the UAE. The limited data we have on Meituan, specifically from Xinhua, a state news agency, suggests they began exploring drones for local deliveries in 2017 and launched their first commercial delivery service in 2021. To close out 2024, they were operating along major routes in 53 Chinese cities, delivering over 400,000 parcels. Wing graduated from X, the moonshot factory, where Google's most ambitious projects start. In 2012, a team initially set out autonomous drone delivery. Wing today has now completed more than 350,000 commercial deliveries in three continents and are now delivering with Walmart in Dallas-Fort Worth. Maternet, founded in 2011, has been serving healthcare systems in major European cities since 2017 and in the US since 2019. They have completed tens of thousands of commercial deliveries for hospitals and labs. Finally, the company that I've been tracking for over a decade, a startup with noble beginnings, and a really, really impressive track record. I have to state it again, Zipline flies once around the earth every six hours, and they've flown more than 95 million commercial miles all autonomously. That's like the Tesla equivalent of data acquisition in the air. Those miles are not just numbers, they're impact. Zipline delivers 75% of Rwanda's blood supply outside of the capital city. They deliver to 84% of Rwanda's hospitals and health facilities. And their branches are ran and managed by local leaders and teams hired from their respective countries. These are Hall of Fame level business and impact statistics and Zipline's founding was only in 2014. Zipline started with supplies that people need the most in places where they just can't get them fast enough. For Zipline's customers, this is life or death impact. Bypassing highly regulated US markets, Zipline went to rural Africa, where the infrastructure for roads just simply isn't there. Two more statistics. A 51% reduction of maternal deaths due to postpartum hemorrhaging, and over 5.6 million doses of vaccines delivered. The popular quadcopter-like variant wasn't the right tool to start. Zipline started with a more efficient fixed-wing system. 
catapulted quite literally into the air. That autonomous plane parachutes down the key supplies, covering up to 120 miles round trip. With Zipline, everything is vertically integrated. They're building the hardware, the software, the test beds, running and operating their own fulfillment. But years have passed since the fixed wing. Batteries are becoming more efficient. The ideas of autonomous travel, electric vehicles, even electric vertical and takeoff landing is popularizing. It's kind of here. Zipline has turned domestically and is starting to push the limits again. Throughout the years, Zipline undoubtedly kept iterating on the fixed wing. This would be their long range platform. In fact, platform one. But Zipline is moving incredibly fast on another product, what they're calling platform two. It looks and seems like the robotic version of a beehive. Rather than launch, platform two is all about docking. Landing a large autonomous vehicle in your backyard doesn't seem like it's gonna serve everyone. Actually doesn't seem like it would even be desired. So they introduced Droid. The autonomous vehicle stays high in the sky the entire time, and this little droid is gonna come down with your package, really precisely landing it. If you follow Zipline on X, you're gonna see that they are testing this relentlessly. You'll see videos of snow, videos of rain. They are bringing this product, testing across all considerations, and well, I'm definitely optimistic. Zipline's mission is to create the world's first delivery system that serves all people equally. Starting with critical health supplies in Africa, and now targeting 90% of the US. Because 90% of the US's population is within a 10 mile radius of Walmart. If you like this video, leave a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and above all, leave a comment. Do you have faith in this idea? Would you want this service?